Previously on Magnum Opus. I picked up the second beacon signal as soon as it activated. Nicely done. You ready for the third beacon? After this, there's only one more. I'm ready. Okay then, here's the next beacon. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Kellogg's dead. Dead? You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. Have you ever seen an Institute courser? Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. They're very good at what they do. And you're going to have to kill one. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. I was wondering when you'd show up. What the hell is going on here? By the state of the place, I'd say there was some kind of struggle here. I think someone's taken your partner. Whoever it was, they've got your partner. Diamond City. It's a clue, but not enough. Who does your partner know that lives in Diamond City? Because I'd say they're who you want to talk to next. Diamond City it is. Hey guys, Lively here. Welcome back to our Magnum Opus version 7 run. It's a mod list I make that's available exclusively on Wabajack that you can also install and play yourself anytime you like. I'm just going to head to Starlight Drive in here and see if there's any new uh, Sim Settlement Settlers. Uh, it looks like we might actually be under attack here as well. But we built a city plan here not long ago. I wanted to see how it's progressing. Which, I'm actually going to wait until daytime so we can get a better look at it. Much better. And I'm glad this guy just dropped from the sky. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of these attackers. Synths! What is this nonsense? This is a synth-free settlement. We don't serve your kind here. Oh, I didn't actually mean to talk to you, sir. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Alright, but uh, you can see we have a lot of unique settlers here. This is where we've been sending everyone. And we have an update to some settlements. So, pollution. Pollution represents the environmental hazards of human living. This includes things like garbage, waste, corpses, and other unsanitary conditions. The more pollution in a settlement, the more likely a disease outbreak is to occur. Each settler adds to the overall pollution created in a settlement. Some buildings add to the pollution as well, with additional smog, radiation, or other hazards. Be careful about growing your settlement too large, or using too many high-pollution buildings. So that will kind of come into play, but not too much for us, uh, because I keep death by diseases off, so that's part of the MCM preset. So even if somebody gets sick from diseases, they're not going to die. But I spotted Carne Asada while I was walking over, and he is a unique settler to some settlements, so he has a little side quest for us. Carne Asada. And you are? Oh, they call me Carne Asada. That's the only name that really matters right now. I'm looking for a place to lay low. I peddle medicine. Well, uh, chems, actually, but for medicinal reasons. They have a shit ton of uses, hermana. Especially out here on a settlement. A stim pack can help with pain or patch up a broken limb. Need a boost to fix a piece of machinery or tech? Ah, oh, men tats. That's what you need. What do you need help with? Right. So running my business often attracts the wrong type of attention. You know, of the raider variety. Now I know I can handle a lot of heat. But even I know when it's too much for one ghoul. That's where you come in, hermana. So 
so to say I got evicted and ripped off doesn't even begin to cover it. But you, you <laughs> get that stash back, and I can help the people here. So, what do you say, hermana? I need fish food to stop shoving you around. And why should I help you? I can pay you for your work, that's why. Okay. I'll help you. Bueno, don't worry, I pay well, and I can help you out here after you help me out, hermana. You won't regret this. Alright, so all these unique guys are going to be really useful relatively soon, now that we're in Chapter 2. I guess Chapter 2 is when we start making better use of our settlers in uh, more specific ways. But... I don't see any other unique people. That's Nox. Alright, so we'll just, uh, we'll just keep on trucking here. But we gotta make our way down the Diamond City. I figured we can walk, see what kind of trouble we can get into on the way. I feel like I've been fast traveling quite a bit lately, and I know some people just constantly fast travel, and I'm honestly guilty of that too sometimes, but Sometimes you just got to, uh, experience the open road, enjoy the scenery, take it as it comes, you know? Maybe we'll stumble into a place we haven't been to yet or something. Maybe that's where we fought the mole rats on the way to get in heaven. I don't think we actually went inside this little shack, though. Always down for pencils and folders. Well, speaking of Heather, actually, her bunker is right up this way. And we need to pay that a visit, so we might as well. Pass and rate mine all. But it's part of her affinity quest. She wants to, uh... She wants to show you her bunker. It's a fucking madhouse south of the river. Yes, it is. Plus, we should say hi to Cosmo. What's up, little buddy? Hey, boy. So handsome. All right, Heather's bunker. Home sweet home. Yeah. Hello, Cosmo. Hi. Even follows us in, and that's done by actually having two cats. <laughs> one of them's outside, one of them's inside. Fun fact. Hey. I just restocked. If you need some tea. No, thank you. Can we chat? I'd like that. What's on your mind? What was life like before the war? Were you happy then? I hear the donuts were to die for. Yeah. Before the war. Before everything was ruined. Yep. Things are pretty fucked up now. Think you could ever be happy here? Maybe. Why do you ask? I care about you. I'd like to see you happy. That's all. Alright, so Heather's Bunker has a ton of little things in here. It's kind of crazy, but we can take a shower, if we so choose. There are lots of little things and free items and stuff here. Nothing too crazy, but uh, here's where she makes all her stuff for her medicines. Those are plants I need to make my products. Closest I'll ever come to farming. Yeah, I know. Uh, unique little books and notes and stuff like that. I didn't mean to zoom out there, it's whatever, but I'll take the subway tokens. You can keep the rest of her. This cabinet we unlock through kind of a little secret thing, which we'll have to do at some point. Collection of classic fairy tales and adventure stories. We can totally bang if we sleep in a bed. <laughs> um, but we will do this. Uh, it requires 25 pencils, which I may or may not have in a workshop somewhere. I'm not sure, but it's all good. It's a sweet Captain Cosmos pillow. But yeah, it's cool to just check it out, see what's going on down here. There's a lot of stuff to look at. Tons of little details and stuff. It's a really well-built cell. And, uh, Llama is really great at being very attentive to detail and building these places out, so it's really cool to see her work. It's her mom's power armor there. But anyway... I really just wanted the affinity for heading in there with him. And another thing since we're here at the graveyard. 
I just have to remember where it is exactly. I think it's over on this side. Yeah. We got the widow's chest here. The tear stained journal. Let's have a look at that real quick. It should be under notes. Tear stained journal. Oh, nice. It's purple. Entry one. He's gone. They've taken him from me. I write these words down to remind myself that they are real. I have fashioned him the best grave I could manage what little I could find. I'm sorry, my love. You deserve so much better. Why did it have to be you? I feel numb. I'm lost without you. Surely this is just a terrible nightmare. Tomorrow I will wake again and you'll be there at my side. Won't you? Entry 2. Darling, how long has it been now? Days? Weeks? Though I find myself staring at the hands of your watch, time now feels irrelevant. Both standing still and passing me by in an instant. As I lay here beside your grave, I can almost see your face again, smiling down at me as you sweep me into your arms, safe and warm. I want for nothing more than to just lay here. To lay here until time deems me worthy to join you again. But I can't. Not yet. Not just yet. Entry 3. I can bear it no longer, just laying here with you. I feel nothing. Hunger? Tiredness? Even basic human needs have forsaken me. But something else has been left behind in their place, and now it drives me. I've begun scavenging again. Remember how I always tinkered with things, love? Pulled them apart, put them back together? It drove you crazy, but you'd always shake your head, smile, and say, you really could gadget your way out of anything. They snuffed your life out like it was nothing, but it was everything to me, and they will know it. Entry 4. I feel purpose for the first time since I buried you, and buried is spelled wrong. I finally completed it, my greatest gadget yet. I've crafted a hood that will allow me to see the very souls of those who have stolen you away from me. A suit that will grant me the strength to face them. Forgive me, love, but I must leave you for a short time. Will you wait for me? Entry 5. It feels like an age since I left you, but here you are, still waiting. Timeless. I'm glad. I set myself upon the world to rid it of those who have wronged us. What I found was a whole world of wrong. I tried, love, but it seems like time has finally had enough of me, while it would seem I could never have enough of it. If you're reading this, I implore you. Take my hood, my suit, my legacy. I've left them in the chest for safekeeping. Finish what I could not. Let my hood guide you and purge this world of the unworthy. He calls to me. I hear you, love. I am coming home. So she made this outfit after her husband got murdered and basically turned herself into a superhero or maybe some sort of vigilante hey. like Batman. So I think we'll give it to Heather. So why not? Hey. Hell yeah, brother. All right, moving on. What else can we do? Well, I think that's the icon for Covenant down there. We'll head down there. So normally I try to activate Covenant as early as possible because the uh, the entrance has this guy that gives you this survey in order to enter the town. And if you don't do it early, it can sometimes bug out and never trigger. So I admit I am currently slightly worried that that's going to happen. Because I've walked past this area before and didn't take it. But I see Swanson's outside, so that's a good sign. What's up, dude? You're visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. I'd like to visit. Since you're a first-timer, there's something you gotta know first. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's gotta take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? You know what? Don't worry. Safe is one of them psychological tests. Just a bunch of questions you gotta answer. You wanna take the test? Pass it, and I'll let you in. Sure. Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. You got it. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. 
What's your response? I'd say up yours too, buddy. You'd say that? Hmm. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Hmm, amputation. Next question. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Catcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I'd throw my tea in her face. Of course. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh, no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Technological bias. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Sneak into his room and steal it? Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... I'd loosen bolts on his water pipes. When he turns on the sink, he'll be in for a surprise. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Hell yeah. Who doesn't want a murderous, thieving psycho in their town, right? We should go in, yes? Yeah, we're gonna go in, Kiri, don't worry. We physically can't go in until he actually comes and unlocks the door, so... If you do find a way to get past this door and go inside, everyone immediately turns hostile. Fun fact. Welcome to Covenant, everyone. It's a nice little place, very quaint. Caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then Why do you keep looking at me? Not come through. Talk to hey, each other. Wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah? Hi. You from around here? God, I hope not. Not enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, I... I can't say that I do. I just can't catch a break. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it was just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. I've got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. You got it, buddy. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to open that. Uh, Alright, so we gotta search Covenant for clues. First, I want some lemonade, though. It's overkill, if you ask me. I'll take some. Enjoy! Thanks for the Deezer's lemonade. So, first thing I want to do... Let's deactivate this stuff, just for a second. It's just a little bit easier if I only have this one active. So, I want to head and check out the wrecked caravan that we're actually investigating. It's not too far, it's just down the road. 
And by down the road, I mean through the woods, because roads are for cowards and weak-willed men. And there's the caravan that was caravan ambushed. Was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. By gunners, it seems. I'll take your stuff, thanks. And what we're really looking for here is this Deezer's Lemonade. Deezer's Lemonade, huh? The caravan definitely stopped in Covenant. Hell yeah. That just serves as proof that they were in fact in Covenant and everyone is lying to you. So we gotta find out why and what they're hiding. So let's head on back. Now we conduct our investigation. Starting with you. Hey, Swanson. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. I guess I can't question you. Got it. Hello, Talia. Hey. Oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. Things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns, scopes, and other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Do you have time for some questions? If it'll help, sure. I'm looking for a girl. Her name's Amelia Stockton. Have you heard of her? Oh, I'm afraid I haven't. I hope she's okay. Do you know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, sorry, they never came here. Everyone around here is acting with suspicious. What are they hiding? Hiding? Why would you think that? We're just real friendly and busy. I, I gotta go. Okay. Hello. Hi. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. Ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald, but you, cutie, can call me Penny. What do you do around here? A bit of everything. I try to leave some things for the men folk to do, you know, so they feel in charge. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Yeah. Let me see what you got. You won't find better quality anywhere. I hope you sell ammo. Nice. I always need ammo. Mm, do we even have anything to sell? I've been really enjoying the Beretta, so I'm just going to ditch this other stuff for now. Fat hands are heavy. I don't need them. Uh, 634. Okay, cool. Let's get more ammo. I'll need all of it eventually, so why not? Any cool guns? Ooh, MP5. Kind of garbage damage. SR2 is nice too. Chance of stagger. Combat shotgun. Eh. I'll take the MP5 though. Got a lot of ammo for it. Unless that's too expensive. I didn't realize how expensive that was going to be. We'll call that a day. Hey Penny, like the tea I gave you, you here to shop? Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot if you ask me. Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. He should be thankful you let him in. Don't get me started. Still, got a lot Damn. to do. You have a great day. So you can pass charisma checks here to get her to tell you what's going on. Uh, you can do the same thing with Talia. Unfortunately, I kind of failed both. But there's like four or five ways to finish this stuff up, which is pretty awesome. Excuse me. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. Patch me up, Doc. Now go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. 
Uh, I actually don't need anything. Kind of hit this one by mistake, but whatever. Now, we're done. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Yeah, thanks. Uh, let's hey, actually talk, though. Hello, stranger. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. I bet you would. What's new, Doc? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. I like to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. Okay, I guess she has nothing to tell me. So we'll skip ahead a little bit, in a way, and find, um, Jacob. What? You're not who I was looking for, but you'll do. My shades. Welcome. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. I guess he's got nothing either. Clear those. This cell means business. Carry on then. So we need to get into here. That's some serious security. Which I can't do. And I don't have any perk points. It. Damn it. Okay. Where is the leader of this place? Oh. He's a bearded fellow. Yeah. Jacob. There he is. Hello. Excuse me. Well, hello, stranger. Hello. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. This place almost looks pre-war. How do you manage that? Hard work, shrewd trading, and a commitment to make a healthy community. It's a team effort. I have to go. You have a good day. All right. So that also went poorly. Uh, the next option would be to pickpocket him or find something specific in this house. But if people see me go in this house, they kind of get upset. So let's try to be That's a serious sneaky. Lock. We need to find a key. Let's hope someone's been careless. All right. So I got Jacob's password, which is what I needed. Yeah. And it's a bit safer than pickpocketing. So get out of here, chicken. All right. Personnel files. Fitzgerald, Beans, Brian. Dude with the sunglasses. Mr. Fitzgerald treats our mission as seriously as I do. If only he could do something about his wife. <laughs> And Penny Fitzgerald is the store runner. Mention synths as undesirables. Altercations with M. Bell. Frequent negative comments about other personnel and other places in the Commonwealth, specifically Diamond City. Severe reprimand for warning one trader about the Institute and, quote, their ways. If Mrs. Fitzgerald was not extremely effective in her role, I'd request she be reassigned to the compound. But she's married to Mr. Fitzgerald, so her permanent posting here is required. Nothing to be done, but frequent reinforcements of our mission and its parameters. Sometimes I feel she cares more about running her store than our goals. Ted Huntley. Possession of contraband on three separate occasions. General antisocial behavior has made visitors uncomfortable. Huntley's new to Covenant, and given his past, it's understandable that he's jumpy. Hopefully over time, the community can help him feel safe. If he keeps making visitors feel nervous, though, he may need to be reassigned. On the bright side, his reclusiveness makes him ideal for running messages to the compound. Even when traders are in town, his absence is rarely noted. Talia McGovern. Visitors comment on her nervousness and jumpiness. She's very compassionate. Could that be a problem? After bringing up my concerns to her, Mrs. McGovern has really come around. Part of her job is to act natural, and if anything, she overdoes it. I really hope she's truly recovering instead of putting on an act. Even if it is an act, she's utterly indispensable to our operation. And Penny Montgomery. I have no specific concerns about Dr. Montgomery. Looking at her now, you'd have no idea of what she's been through. 
The only niggling detail is that she keeps to herself and hasn't integrated into the community. But I suspect she resents being transferred here and would prefer to be working on the core mission. But before she was here, our visitor's number one complaint was the lack of medicinal services. So we need at least one doctor here. And unfortunately for her, she's the only one qualified that has a suitable temperament. Last but not least, Swanson. Swanson keeps to himself. He works directly for the compound administering the test. And as such, I have no idea who he was or how to help him. He keeps himself strictly apart from the community. Whether it's his orders or temperament, who's to say? Fisherman Report. Mr. Huntley is aboard at five compound runs due to a fisherman, name unknown, who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond. Mr. Huntley reports to his favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. The stock and retrieval team was almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend... And then it cuts off. That's why it's a draft, I suppose. All right. There goes Jacob. <laughs> They're hiding something. I'm sure. He's got to run to his next spot, though, to confront us. It's funny how quest stages and stuff like that work, though. So once we know the location of the compound, which we got from that fisherman's draft, uh, that obviously set the stage for the next quest, and that means he had to go be standing on what we call an X marker, which is an invisible marker there saying that, you know, go into that spot. And when the player approaches, talk to him. But we'll talk to Dan first. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. All right, so he'll force greet us here. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound. So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation and I'll give you a gift. 100 caps. And then 100 whole caps? Come back here as our friend anytime. How can you justify killing a caravan? It isn't as simple as all that. Hasn't our community been good to you and others passing through? So all I'm asking is you have a little faith in us. You can keep your caps. You cannot put a price on life. Please, just leave well enough alone. There's more going on than you realize. Trust me. Who keeps opening and closing this door? There's nothing there for us. Heather. How dare you say that? So this quest is actually kind of interesting, in my opinion, because um, there is no real, like, good solution. Like, both of them, both outcomes kind of have their downsides in a way. And it really depends on your beliefs and what you're willing to sacrifice and compromise. This is where the fisherman, uh, yeah, there he is. This is where he's been hanging out and disrupting our communication flow. Hey, go find your own fishing spot. Clear out. Rude. Well, don't watch where I'm going, it's a secret. Nice lighten up the place, Gary. Place. You just got here. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? Who are you? I'm asking the questions. Why are you here? I just want answers about Stockton's caravan. Nothing more. That's unfortunate. This ain't personal. No, that's unfortunate. You right about that. I think I still have that skitter grenade equipped. 
I just want regular grenades for now. Apparently I killed a doctor with that grenade. Take that, Blythe. The hell kind of name is Blythe anyway. Damn it. Where'd you go? What do you mean where'd I go? I'm right here. When spoken to. Please continue. The subject is ready for baseline testing. Subject, answer the questions quickly and with what first comes to mind. You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that... that safe test? <laughs> answer the question. I... I... I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I ignore him. Ignore him, you say. Okay. I'm not looking forward to this. There's a lot of people here and they're hitting me real hard. Especially since I changed my outfit. My armor's not the greatest. But I look cool. Man's gotta have priorities. Some sort of bridge. The intruder must be eliminated. Nothing. Gotta be. Looks like I shot that guy's arm off, so he's out of the fight. Curie. Afraid you should be. <laughs> Come on, join me. Good job, team. Oh, he's hiding behind that pool. Got him. And here you are. 
My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? After testing, we have well over a 70% confidence level of our initial diagnosis. I'd have to perform an autopsy, to be sure. I'll give you a fair hearing. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something Don't see about anything. it? Think we're okay. What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations. The Synths. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden Synths. To root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? It is a noble cause. Synths are always kidnapping and replacing people. Someone needs to destroy the Institute. A perfectly rational response. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth, but the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high, four or five false positives per synth. But one day, we hope to get it to one or two false positives. It sounds like your test may not even work. There is a correlation. We've measured it. We just need more data, more test subjects to narrow it down. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it, even if I have to kill you to do it. It's weird if this popped up while he was talking. Um, so normally, I will kill the doctor and save Stockton's daughter. But I'm kind of going pro BOS this run, and they hate synths, so I feel like... Yes, I'm being silent for a reason I'm talking. It's kind of an oxymoron. Anyway, um, I always side with Dan and I kill everybody in Covenant. But since I'm like pro-BOS, I feel like it's a worthy cause to try to weed out the synth human replacements. So we'll see what she says about this. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Covenants a refuge? Over the years, we've recruited like-minded individuals, all of our lives shattered by the Institute. Covenant is primarily about administering and refining the safe test. But some consider the humanitarian side equally as important. If you destroy what's left here, their lives will be upended again. 
All right, I'm going to side with her on this one, and uh, we'll see what happens. Continue your work, then. What else could we do? I wish you hadn't said that. Where is he? Oh, he's back here. Sorry, Dan. You gotta think about the greater good sometimes. Did we have to piss them? Stored messages. Retrieval team ready. Until this whole honest Dan affair is resolved, stand down. The Stockton retrieval drew far too much attention. Mr. Fitzgerald is furious you extracted Subject 14 so close to Covenant. See, that doesn't happen again. Our team's all patched up and ready to grab some synths. Still tracking Subject Boyd, just give us the order. Dr. Rogers' rant. I do not need a degree in socioeconomics to realize Covenant's trade policies are unsustainable. As soon as we can't afford the subsidies, Mrs. Fitzgerald will increase her prices to attain self-sufficiency. Commercial traffic will slow, but more than traders visit Covenant now. One of Dr. Rogers' points concerns me. Covenant has had a net operating loss since its inception. Its expenses are staggering. The fusion batteries alone are a princely sum. The asset seized from the captured subjects in no way makes up this massive deficit. If we were a business, I'd say we're a couple months away from bankruptcy. Grave concerns. Do you think these objections have not been raised before? But by all means, propose a viable alternative. But bear this in mind. Fact. We need a large data sample. The larger the better. Fact. The initial test is most effective if the subjects are close to their psychological baseline. Fact! If the Institute gets a single hint of our existence, our mission will end before it has truly begun. Covenant was designed from the ground up to attract visitors, and it is working. Our data pool is increasing at an exponential rate, and the subjects take the test voluntarily and unaware. Effectively, the test is hiding in plain sight. Covenant is a mistake. I cannot dispute Dr. Ryan's case for the therapeutic value of the community, but our mission must come first. The wide variety of risks we expose ourselves to is outright foolish. My concerns should not have been summarily dismissed. There must be another, saner way. I want to see if Heather has anything to say about this. Hey. Hey. Hmm? Oh, hang on. Now is not a good time. Okay, what do you want? I have some time. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. Robots can do amazing things, but surely they've contributed to science. When directed by a human, they have. But on our own, we tread predictable paths. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. So, how are you going to do that? If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. I'm willing to help, Carrie. And you save me once again. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, Please bring me to them. Yay, city plants for Covenant are available. Yay, unlock stuff. Alright, so. She did. And she is a synth. So, do you have anything to say? Dr. Chambers, we were under the mistaken impression you wanted to rescue the Stockton girl. Yeah. And I wanted to talk to Heather. Hey. Hey, hey, partner. Hello. Can we chat? Sure. What's on your mind? I feel like I'm robbing you every time you buy something from me. So I'm going to give you the biggest discount I can afford. 
you ever wonder if we should spice things up between us? Every day. What do you think we should do? <laughs> Lots of things. I'm not looking for a big commitment. Just something a little more physical. You game? Sounds good. Let's go. Right behind you. Yay. We can bang now. I don't know if there's anything up here. I don't think there is. So, yeah, I can unlock them with the terminal and I don't feel like doing that. How dare you? Is there something in cell one? Oh, that was her cell. I thought she was in two. Because I'm stupid. There's nothing in there anyway. Thanks for the garbage. Alright, I'll see you later. Keep up the good work. Sorry, I killed all your guards. Should've just let me walk in. But I want to do one more thing real quick before we head back to Covenant. Hey! Taste the rainbow! Alright, let's talk to Jacob. Jacob! Dr. Chambers filled me in on you. Arranger. I can't tell you how relieved we are. Everyone in Covenant has suffered dearly at the Institute's plan. We all believe in the mission. But outsiders may not clearly see the sacrifices that are necessary to protect the Commonwealth. How'd your people suffer? All of us have lost people to the Institute. Poor Ted Huntley lost his entire family when a courser retrieved the sin. Covenant's main goal is to improve our synth detection test, but it's equally important to help heal the casualties of this phantom war. I hope you understand. I'd like to help further, if I can. Actually, I was wanting to help you. We'd be honored to fly the Minuteman flag and contribute further to the safety and welfare of the Commonwealth. Cool beans. Yeah, this is my house now. Um, there is, um... I'm so bad at remembering where the menus are and stuff. I know there's a flag thing in here somewhere. I was going to build a Minuteman flag just to kind of say... Have a Minuteman flag and abide by his words there, but um, I think it might be in here. Yeah, Minuteman! Hell yeah! You want to fly the Minuteman flag? You can do that. Okay, next we should do this and this. I think. That's down by Diamond City. That's a good neighbor. Okay. So we're going to Diamond City anyway. So that works. Let's trade some things. Okay. We'll take that, because why not? Our newest friend. You're always welcome here. Thanks, Swanson. Kind of curious what their special stats are, but we can check that some other time. It's the first time in a very, very long time that I did not murder all those people, so maybe they'll be useful. I'm kind of surprised Curie uh, 
was okay with that since she's asking us to actively turn her into a synth. Maybe she's understanding the concept of the greater good. Hello. T-51? Moving on. So the Automatron DLC starts pretty close to this building. We'll probably check this out when that starts. It's not related to the quest or anything, but, you know, just figured we'll be back here and give us a little something extra to do later. So this could be a very dangerous part of the city. I hear Super Mutants and Raiders. There are usually goals here too, but I don't see or hear any. What's up, Brotherhood? What's up, guys? Killing ghouls? It's a noble cause. Not make that throw, because I'm a terrible person. One more, it looks like. Quit running. Just die. Coward. More Brotherhood. Nice. Should have just waited. They'd have cleared out those raiders for me. I always felt bad for this ghoul. Apparently been stuck on this little very lonely island for a long time. Let's put him out of his misery. Cabot how? 
Vamos. Looks like we'll be hitting good neighbor first. Just kind of happened to go this way. Uh, there's some gunners over there. But they actually don't get hostile unless you get too close. So you can just go around. You hear nothing. Let's see if this restocked. Nope. Brahmin to say moo moo when I walk by, you know? One moo per head. You got a point. Hello, Doctor. Kiri. Let's embrace your future. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh. I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, it's quite a doctor. camera angle. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems, I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like your proposal. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand. Well, it's already somewhere between the two. What do you know about synths? To be clear, it may not work. But some synths have cybernetic enhancements that interface directly with their brains. The Institute must have found an interpreter for raw data. That's my hope, at least. I don't have a synth brain handy, Doc. I may be able to help with that. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain dead state. Living but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. So you're willing to perform the operation? My patient knew the risks and opted for memory replacement. She wanted a new life. I failed her. But this, this procedure may be as close as I can get to fulfilling her wishes. But I cannot make this decision. Her caretaker can. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. Alright, see you tomorrow. Hello, Deacon. Eh, we might as well do this while we're here. Hello. <clears throat> Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12 pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listened to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. How did you get used to everything? Mainly I focused on survival. 
It got real bad after the bombs fell. For a long while, I tried not to think of the good old days. Just too painful. But it's all we got now. So we gotta try and make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. You got it, Kent. Hey, partner. Hey. So I know I normally avoid going around and picking up a bunch of quests, but I am going to pick up one more in here. Just because this is a uh, way to do a campaign. Better stay out of a good neighbor. All I'm saying. What's up, Hancock? Mayor Hancock. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, it was not the love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? Wow. You're a hell of a risk taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Anyway, did you need something else? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. You got it, buddy. Nothing, Heather. Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy too. He sure as hell didn't act Folks like. Folks say good neighbors kind of rough, but I think they can replace people with sense I've in this town. I've never had any problems here. They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Okey dokey. Talk about vaulting one. Some problem there. Let's make our way down to Diamond City, since we still gotta talk to the Ron. What's that? Uh, I'm hearing stuff. I thought that middle post was one of them. I was about to just run face for a Ignore me! Ah, oh, he's gonna see me regardless. Let's hope Swan's not up and about, because he, he does get up and small. wander sometimes. It's no surprise. They're giant, right? But I run away if one gets too close. Hey. They will knock you on your ass and pound you to mush. And it looks like he's still in the pond. We're good. We're good. Pop 
Boston Public Library. It's one of the places I usually do one of the locator beacon quests for Jake and opted not to this time around. There's also a quest in there we have to do that starts in Good Neighbor that I forgot about till this very moment, so maybe next time. Really don't want to waste the ammo on stupid bugs. Hollow tape logs. Let's see, we got our map updated in the top left there. We technically didn't yet, but there it is. Message to Rodrigo Palama. Okay, my friend, I thought about it, and I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. Zilch. You heard me right. You get nothing. Yes, you cracked the safe, and yes, we got the diamonds. But you also tripped the alarm. Mackie got pinched, and that's entirely your fault. Now, when he gets out, Mackie's gonna want your head on the platter. I'm gonna give him your share instead. I see you getting off easy. Eddie Winter, signing off. So Eddie Winter is a character we'll learn a lot more about later. But he plays a big part in Nick's Affinity Quest. And there's ten of those holotapes we're going to have to get for him. And the holotape contains like a secret code, which is why we need them. So it's kind of easier just to get them as you go instead of waiting for the quest to pop because... Uh, it's still tracking which ones I've found, even though I don't have a quest marker or anything for them, but, yeah. So something about this, I didn't notice the first couple times I played it, but now I can't help but laugh every time I see it, and that's the Ron here had his hair knocked off, and I love it. It cracks me up every time. Oh, You're not here to perform some kind of revenge killing or something, are you? Because that would be a real drag. I hadn't planned on it. What are you talking about? You know, because I gave up Jake. Oh man, I didn't want to, but pain has a way of making a cat talk. So, you're not going to kill me? Well, what happened here? It, it was the gunners, man. Burst in, demanding I tell them who I'd been selling info to. Asking all about communication devices and pre-war tech. I told them, I said I don't sell information on clients, but they weren't looking to buy. Ugh. Oh, bleeding all over my suit. Here, yeah, this will make you feel better. Oh, yeah, that feels much better. Thanks. Look, I didn't want to give them any info. But I've never been tortured before. I had no idea it could hurt so much. This... This cat couldn't hold out. I... I told them what they wanted to know. I told the gunners about Jake. And then they broke my legs as a thank you. Is... Is Jake okay? He's not... Mad at me. Is he? What info are you talking about? Um, well... I told him about all the ASAM stuff Jake's been doing. About the comm hub and hardware store in Concord. <sighs> I tried to keep my mouth shut, honest. But when they brought out the pliers... <sighs> they took him. But I'm gonna find him. 
The gunners took Jake? Oh, not cool. Do you have any idea how I could find him? I can't help you there. I have no idea where they might have taken him. But wait. The tough that worked me over, I did overhear him mention a place. Um, an old schoolhouse. Malden Middle School. But there's nothing there. It's just an old ruin. Look, I don't like saying it. Jake was my pal too. But if the gunners took him, he's a goner. How can you say that? Gunners don't take prisoners. Whatever their reasons for napping Jake, chances are they've already put that hound dog down. Listen, don't go kicking the Cazador nest. Don't give the gunners a reason to ice you too. I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. Whoa. You really are the coolest. I wish I had a friend like you. Jake's one lucky dog. <sighs> Fine. If you're going to go searching for Jake, the least I can do is try to keep you alive. Check the file cabinet in my office. There's a few stealth boys in there, behind a false panel. Take them. They're yours. If Jake is still alive somewhere, maybe they can help you get to him. And if you come across any gunners, give them a knuckle sandwich. Courtesy of the Rod. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, I think a rib's poking at my lungs. I hope you can find Jake. Good luck, cool cat. Okie dokie. Feel better. What's up? Nothing. Hmm. So, the gunners snatched Jake. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. You heard that, did you? Hard not to when you're eavesdropping. Hope you don't mind. But after you left the hardware store, I sort of followed you. Glad that I did. Listen, first time we met, I didn't know what to make of you or your partner, but I had time to think it over. It's obvious now you are no friend of the gunners. For the most part, you seem to be able to take care of yourselves. Kidnappings notwithstanding. So I was thinking. Maybe we should cooperate, you know, help each other out, enemy of my enemy and all that. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm just floating the idea of us working together. Okay, I'm listening. Huh, I didn't expect you to be so receptive, but I appreciate it. That information broker, he mentioned Malden Middle School. I happen to know there's a vault hidden under those ruins. One that's under gunner control. A hidden secret vault. Sure seems like a good place for the gunners to hold a prisoner, don't you think? What's in this secret vault? Gunners. Maybe some of their captives. Besides that, I have no idea. Why are you telling me this? What game are you playing? Don't be so fast to think I'm playing games. I'm offering useful information here. It's unusual for gunners to take prisoners. But we both heard that holotape. They wanted Jake alive. Now, I'm not saying I know for sure, but I suspect that if your partner's anywhere, it'll be in that vault. And it just so happens, I got the codes to get inside. So I say, we break into that vault, take down the gunner's station there, maybe find your partner what do you actually want I'm not exactly trying to hide my motives here if I can find a way to piss off the gunners disrupt their operations and help out potential allies well that's a good day for everyone apart from the gunners of course which is just the way I like it okay let's get to work good I'll meet you near the school don't be long I'll take as long as I want, Aiden.
All right, so we have to go assault the gunner Volt. That rhymed. Okay, I won't. You see that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why are they here? Um, to make the Commonwealth a better and safer place for everyone. Some lady in there asking for help with something. She's probably going to ask you for some help, too. She's asking everybody. Me? I'm leaving Diamond City for now. Maybe we'll see each other someday. Good luck to you. Thanks for the tip. Uh, that's just pointing us towards Ellen the Cartographer, who's another follower mod we have here. But we'll pick up with her some other time. Okay, with that, I believe this is a good spot to make the cut for the day. We're running a bit over an hour long, I think, if my uh, mental timing is on at all. But we'll finish with carne asada stuff next time we come back. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, uh, I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you to all my Patreon donors, and I will see you all next time.